Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, 2,800 years old open air space of worship in Harbert, Western Armenia. This is Armenian period. Gohar Martikian's book about Leonidas Gadian has been republished. We strongly condemn the Azerbaijani president's aspirations against territorial integrity of Armenia, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Azerbaijani president's statement is a proof of genocidal policy against Armenia. Ombudsman of Armenia. Turkey ranks 153rd in RSF's 2021 WordPress Freedom Index. Today is Tatul Kırpeyan's birthday. The memory of the victims of the genocide against the Armenian people. A 2,800 years old open air space of worship of the Ararat Kingdom was found in a historic Harbert fortress in the Harbert province, western Armenia. There is a place of sacrifice, stairs, benches, niches and other structures in the area in southwestern part of Harbert fortress. The area was probably used for religious ceremonies. It is assumed that the area of the open temple will contribute to the inclusion of Harbert in the UNESCO basic list. Three sanctuaries have been discovered so far in the fortress of Harbert. Writer and novelist Kohar Martikyan, author of the book about Leonidas Galdian, entitled This is Armenia and Period, informs about the new issue of the book on her Facebook page. The book has been republished and is on sale in Bukinist bookstores for all those who, like Leonidas Galdian, are convinced that Artsakh is Armenia and Period. Armenian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Anna Nagdalian commented on the statement of Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev, who threatened to use force against Armenia during his interview to one of the Azerbaijani TV channels. Armen Press presents the spokesperson's comment. We strongly condemn the Azerbaijani President's aspirations against the territorial integrity of Armenia and his threats to use force. Such statements seriously harm the regional peace and stability. They reveal the false nature of the recent Azerbaijani statements over peace and reconciliation. It's noteworthy that such threats are made ahead of the 106th anniversary of the genocide against Armenians and aim at talking to the Armenian people from the positions of force. We are in constant touch with our strategic partner as well as with all partners who are interested in peace in the South Caucasus. Armenia will take all necessary measures for protecting its sovereignty and territorial integrity. Human rights defender of Armenia Arman Tatoyan has commented on the statement of Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev, who spoke about the entire population of Armenia with open threats of use of force and war in his interview to the Azerbaijani General Television. Arman Press presents the Ombudsman's comment. The President of Azerbaijan, in his interview to the Azerbaijani General Television, spoke about the entire population of Armenia, with open threats of use of force and war on April 20, 2021. Referring to the territory of the Sovereign Republic of Armenia, he spoke about the creation of the so-called Zangezur Corridor and the expulsion of the population of Armenia, regardless of the will of Armenia. The President of Azerbaijan also noted, all forces are mobilized to implement the program. Thus, 101 years later, the Azerbaijani people are returning to the occupied Zangezur. It is obvious that in this way the President of Azerbaijan insults, spews ethnic hatred and Armenophobia at the high state level and carries out public propaganda of animosity against Armenians. The human rights defender of Armenia firmly calls for the attention of international organizations, especially those with human rights mandates, to these genocidal and fascist statements. International organizations must take into account that it was their silence that contributed to more of the Azerbaijani atrocities during the war and the incredible gross violations of human rights. This is the reason why the president of Azerbaijan makes such absolutely aggressive statements that undermine the foundations of international law. Turkey is ranked 153rd among 180 countries in the 2021 WordPress Freedom Index released by Reporters Without Borders on April 17. Ermeni Haber reports, RSF said the Turkish government has used its military operations, the Syrian refugee crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic to reinforce its authoritarian policies towards critical media. The index data has also revealed that the coronavirus pandemic has been used as grounds to block journalists' access to information sources and reporting in the field. Journalists are finding it increasingly hard to investigate and report sensitive stories especially in Asia, the Middle East and Europe. Turkey was ranked 154th in 2017, 155th and 157th in 2018-2019. to Turkey continues to be the country with the most imprisoned journalists in the world. 
it should be noted that journalists and various media workers are regularly subjected to physical torture in Turkey, including Western Armenia. Norway is the first in the list. Armenia ranks 63rd, Azerbaijan ranks 167th, the last is North Korea. The Turkish government increased its crackdown on critical media outlets and journalists in the aftermath of a coup attempt in July 2016, following which dozens of journalists were jailed while more than 200 media outlets were closed down under the pretext of an anti-cop fight. Tatul Kırpeyan was born in Arek village near the town of Tallinn, Armenia. He completed his elementary and intermediate education in the technical school of Tallinn. After serving in the Soviet army, in 1987, he entered the faculty of history of Yerevan State University. In his first year at the university, Tatul joined the Armenian Liberation Movement. He was also a member of the Miyatsum organization, whose efforts were directed to unite Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Oblast with Armenia. While studying at Yerevan State University, he sang in the Maratuk folk song and dance ensemble, collected and saved from oblivion songs and dances about the folk, nation and liberation struggle. He founded the Gus Folk Song and Dance Ensemble at Yerevan State University. Tatu left for Artsakh in September 1990, where the situation continued to become worse. From September 1990 to May 1991, he led the self-defense of the Getashen subregion against the Azerbaijani armed forces, the Russian army and police groups with his own armed group. He was called Eagle of Getashen. He died on April 30, 1991, during the Ring Operation. He was awarded the title of National Hero of the Republic of Armenia on September 20, 1996. He was awarded the Homeland Order. Tatul said, Why are you afraid of death? I am ready to die for the land right now for the land, for the nation. I will never go down to Yerevan airport and say I handed over Getashen. I will die here. I won't do that. Tatul Kırpeyan Dear compatriots, the citizens of the Republic of Western Armenia, we present you the list of events dedicated to the commemoration of the genocide against Armenians to be held on April 24. Saturday, 2021, April 24. The following events will be held with the participation of the official representatives of the Republic of Western Armenia. Paris at 11 p.m. in front of the Comitas Monument, Canada Square. Lyon at 11 p.m. Commemoration in front of the Memorial, Anthony Ponset Square. Marcel at 11 p.m. in front of the Mother and Her Four Sons Monument in the Memorial Park. Draginia at 5 p.m. in front of the Monument of Armenia, Ale Dazemar. Mandelia at 11 p.m. Commemoration in front of the Khachkar, Armenia Square. Antipas at 3 p.m. Commemoration in front of Marshall Monument, November 11 Avenue. Yerevan at 11 p.m. Near the memorial of the genocide against Armenians. Now I present you a song about Tatul Kırpeyan. <laughs> Avah verkeri tamar, çelav dergdar eman. Toluy sicni şirimit, tatul kerpeyan. Avah verkeri tamar, çelav dergdar eman. Toluy sicni şirimit, tatul kerpeyan. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.